Right now, I'm running errands for my sisters. I'm their personal assistant for the day. I did a Sephora run for all of us, and now I'm going to get some iced coffees and go back to their house, so period. Guys, this is my favorite coffee in the world with my favorite baristas. They always put glitter in my coffees and there's heart straws, but I got the Como La Flor. It's like a rose latte. And then I got my sister Shannon a vanilla cold brew. The last dream that I can remember, it wasn't a bad dream, but like, OMG. So the VIP. Um. I'm in my last year of school. I'm a senior at Emory. And sometimes I still feel like a freshman, especially when it comes to studying. It's one of those things that never really got easier for me. I think with each class, it's about learning the material and then learning how to study it. So it's twice as hard, especially for people like me who really struggle with staying focused and being consistent. I think I just wanna encourage people and let them know that they're not alone, that you're not stupid if you can't focus or if you're unmotivated and that we're in it together because I'm sitting here and it looks like I can just lock in and put my headphones on but every second I'm fighting not picking up my phone to check my notifications or to quit and give up on myself because I don't understand what's going on. So I just wanted to put that out there that it's just a clip but you never know what's really going on. Smush it a little bit, like just a little bit. That, helps, that helps the middle cook. Good morning guys, right now I'm in the Dunkin drive through something I said I would not really do anymore. I'm here and I'm gonna try the iced matcha that people are getting with blueberry and vanilla. I'm really nervous because Dunkin drinks are so sweet and I'm a sweetaholic, but theirs is like a syrupy fake sweet, but I am. Hi, good morning. Can I please try a small iced matcha with blueberry and vanilla? Yes, please. That'll be all. Um, also, can I get an avocado toast topped with bacon? Avocado with bacon? Yes. Some hash donuts? No, I'm okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, that's what I call a saleswoman. She said hash browns or donuts, babe. I love that. Mmm. That just put some hustle in my morning. Okay, I'm feeling better. Um, yeah, I'm gonna try that drink. I'm really excited. I am running late for school, but like I said in our last video, gotta have a fun baby. We're gonna give it a taste. It's actually not as sweet as I thought it would be. One more swirl and twist. It's good. I'm not obsessed, but it's pretty good. Today, guys, I woke up feeling a little insecure. I'm not gonna lie. Um, not gonna yai, but 
when I was in high school, I don't know if you guys remember, but my acne used to be so bad. And I went on different medications. I did like the oral pills. Like I tried a lot of creams and topical treatments. Um, and then I found what worked for me. And it's the worst feeling to wake up in the morning and before you even open your eyes, like feel for the bumps on your forehead and your face, hoping and praying that they go away and that you can just feel clean again. I know that sounds dramatic, but if you have ever, if you've ever had acne, I feel like you understand. Um, I've never been on Accutane or anything like that, so I can't relate to that struggle, but I have had cystic painful acne. So I say all that to say, whenever I get a little bump, it's okay. Two bumps, mm, I get a little worried. And I know right now it's like not as noticeable, but I have like three bumps on my forehead and my mind just immediately went back to that place that was just a tad bit traumatic for a girl like me. So yeah, and I don't have my medication with me. I can't. I went to like do my skincare at my sister's house. Now I can't find it, so I have to just get some more. And yeah, I guess I just wanted to share that because everybody has insecurities. Everybody goes through little things. So even if you see like one or two dots in someone's face, you're like, well, it's not that big of a deal. You never know how they're feeling about it. So I wonder how it's gonna look when I pull up late to class with a matcha and an avocado toast. <laughs> not that I, I mean, I do care. I do. Hold on, let's see, let's see, let's see. You see that? Mm. I loved that bite. I think I loved everything about that bite and I'm so surprised on everything. If you come at me in the comments talking about that maybe that's why your face is right. Safe space. Life is about moments like these. The smallest ones that maybe nobody will ever see, but you just get a burst of instant happiness. It's about that. Somebody give me, somebody tell me the answers. Me and you isn't the answer. Me and you isn't. Maybe I'm telling myself that, but there ain't nothing that'll change that. What good would it be if I knew how you felt about me? It could have been right, but I was wrong. Okay, guys, so I'm back. It is hours and hours and hours later. I really did not pick up the camera after we went to Skins, but this is the outfit that I got. I tried it on the dressing room for you guys. This is an extra small and this is a medium. I always like to mismatch in my sizes to get that like tiny top big pants fit, but it's so soft and I really compare it to the aloe sweatpants. Um, yeah, nothing special. It's just the matching boxers that go to this top and i have a lot of their bone colored items um like the long sleeve the leggings the short it's so hard because it's easily stained like sometimes i get a little dye on it i mean it's just this weird the number one thing i really struggled with was staying on top of my assignments and making sure I get everything done without rushing and waiting to the last minute because a lot of things that you learn in college about things that may not seem important in the long run like a homework assignment or being involved in the club or anything they actually apply to a lot of life skills like networking and collaborating within the corporate office or being punctual for job interviews and important events in your life so that you don't miss those opportunities um, that come to those who are prepared so i feel like it's important if you are in college to just take it seriously really immerse yourself i always hear about the debate of oh you don't need a degree it's a piece of paper it's a waste of money versus oh you can't do anything without having it that's not true there's different walks of life for everybody i don't know i'm rambling but i just feel really passionate about what's for you is for you and there's always more than one way to get somewhere that's what i learned when i started driving with my dad but i remember he told me that and i think it's a hard to point a line trying to sell a story ain't nobody buying look me in my eyes don't laugh your eyes why should it end baby i could have been should have could have would have been yeah would have been 
My waffles in here. And then I got a kale tonic because I'm breaking out. And I'm the type that when I break out, I'm throwing everything away. I'm throwing the beauty blender away. I'm throwing the sheets in the wash. I'm only drinking water in my greens because this ain't me. This is not me. I know in the last vlog, I started to get a couple pimples. We shutting that down. I don't care what I have to do. Um, still might go to Chick-fil-A, but other than that, I'm on point. But I'm on the way to school right now. <sighs> it doesn't stop. This is the vlog where I handle my business. I feel like we've been having fun. We've been going places. I'm trying to think what y'all are about to see in this video. I have a photo shoot tomorrow for um, Feng Chen Wang at Wish, which is cool. I love the Taco Bell cinnamon twist. I don't get them a lot anymore. I haven't had them in a long time, I'm not gonna lie, but when I was younger, that used to hit the spot. I pulled over to Sprouts, cause I had a long day, and I got these Pipcorn cinnamon sugar twist, and it's the same thing, and it makes me feel healthier because of the packaging. I'm not sure if it is healthier. It's talking about non-GMO and stuff like that. So, hey, guilt-free. I never was guilted by the, um, little cheat snacks and the sweets and stuff like that because i'm a sweet girl i'm a sweetaholic shout out humza but that never really guilted me unless i was breaking out which i kind of am right now also guys i really just don't like this hat on me in this outfit it was very very cute when i was you know playing with it earlier i think i just need to style it different because wow it is giving fried the chicken girl and get on your 10 minute break no Tino shade because y'all I used to work at Chick-fil-A and that was a pretty stressful job I remember I used to be crying uh, the days but yeah y'all I'm just not feeling the look right now I feel like I wasted a lot of time today because I had to run a really important errand but it wasn't ready for me and it is about like a two-hour trip out there so I'm just gonna go again tomorrow and everything will be okay but I do want to say that time is your most valuable asset and you can't get more of it back so when you're thinking like oh dang this costs us so much money think about how much time people cost you when you come through for them or you pull up when there's a million other things that you need to do or have to do really think about it like that that's no Tina shade on what the errand I had to run, but I was just, I've been thinking about that lately because my to-do list has been through the roof. I haven't had a chance to do my laundry. I have a bunch of schoolwork. Why would you pull out in front of me like that? I'm confused. Hey guys, so I just had a whole situation at Target. Got my heatless curls in, and I'm about to give you guys a really quick haul of what I got. I wanted to film in the store, but I needed to be really in and out. And a girl be shy sometimes, I can't lie. So yeah, let me show you what I got, let's go. Number one, I got these two pillows and I've been really into hotel bedding lately. I got these, I think it's called Percal sheets, um, but this is like a hotel kind of collection. I got them off of Nordstrom, I wanna say. I got this when I first moved in and um, I have a Buffy comforter 
or duvet and then my duvet covers those but i wanted to get two big pillows i was kind of apprehensive to get something that has texture like a fur because i'm really into timeless looks but i like the way that it complements the headboard i think it's really cute um and they were only 25 dollars each so i feel like if i ever want to switch it out we can do that dry shampoo has been my lifesaver and it's not just for white people okay i used to think that um but anyways then i got this their breath oil rinse then i got some micellar water okay next i got this tea tree oil shampoo and then the argan oil conditioner i usually get matching ones but i wanted to try a new brand and something different so i'm gonna let you know how this is i got a beauty blender this is what i came in here to get i got these mighty patches to try i've never used them but i feel like the star face ones they don't really fit my personality too much also trying something new here too the eos lotion if you don't know now you know this is just a case for my beauty blender i always kind of just like throw it in with the rest of my makeup which i feel like is really bad <laughs> And then this is the toothpaste that I've always used for years. So it always comes in a little two pack. Um, oh, more. That's my snack, y'all. Don't mind that. Um, and then I got some hair ties. I love a, I'm a premium girl. These look pretty premium to me. And yeah, guys, that was my haul of everything I got at Target. If you open up the door for me, couple stairs, couple texts, couple dates, couple I think that we're ready, couple I think we should wait. Are we acting like a couple? I'm just trying to get it straight, cause I'm over here convinced that it's too early for mistakes. And then, you have to change up the game. Oh, the weather is not the same. already here but to go to sprouts i'm getting some things i need to make a charcuterie board for my sister ashley's birthday today there's nothing like a sister's love and support guys i truly believe i'm the girl that i am today because of my older siblings and my brother you know included in that because i have two older sisters one big brother and then one little brother but I love them so much guys they have honestly put me on to everything that I thought was cool or funny or um, it was just my first like glimpse of style and taste and then from there I kind of took it to be my own thing but I just love them down so I'll do anything for them that's why we're in the rain um, if you have trouble deciding how to make your charcuterie boards, an easy way to do it is just by following the rule of twos. So two cheeses, two carbs, like a bread and a cracker, two jams, two um, meats, like a prosciutto or um, you know a cured salami. We're just gonna go on sprouts and see what they have for us. I might not vlog a bunch because I don't wanna get super like soaked, but yeah. I don't know which one to choose. I feel like if it was me, I would do the pink ones, but the purple ones are also really pretty. I don't know which one's for her.
Okay guys, what you didn't see was that I also picked up blueberry vanilla goat cheese, which is so good, especially if you like sweet things. But yeah, I got everything that I showed you guys. Um, I also got a bar of dark chocolate because she likes that. I'm gonna like sprinkle it on top. But all that came out to 120. I am sick just saying that. I was productive this morning in designing my blog page for a new story that I have coming out soon. And also I um, uploaded a vlog, which I just think that each vlog I upload, I'm not looking at any numbers or comments or anything like that. Well, obviously reading your comments, but I'm not judging myself based on the performance of those. I know that this is some of the best content that I've ever put out and I appreciate it myself to just go back and look at those memories. So I'm trying to have the right mindset this time. I feel like a lot of people always ask me why I left YouTube to begin with. And I think one, I was working on my relationship with God and also my relationship with self because I started to equate my self-worth to the performance and the logistics everything that went into my videos I put a lot of pressure on myself and I didn't have that YouTube community of other creators who were doing the same thing and had the same knowledge or just wanted to support each other I think um, but my family was always very very supportive so definitely not saying that um it was just tough for me being 14 15 trying to navigate it all and i stepped away for a long time i beat myself up about it saying like oh if i kept going i wonder where i would be now but we can't live in the past and everything that happens happens for a reason so i'm happy that i took a break i'm happy that i'm healthy and that my mind is in the right predicament and even though i'm not perfect um, I'm just on this journey of self-love, giving myself grace. I think it's important to be transparent when you're seeing these like really cute and aesthetic, get ready with me's and you know, my, my little one too, just know that I'm going through real life things too. And that doesn't deter me from being a princess. You're a princess even the hardest of times, baby. I wanted to pop on here to let you guys know that we're in a hurricane. I don't know if you thought that was it was just hard rain or anything, but no, it's natural disaster. Shelter in place. I really wish that I was, you know, snuggled up in my bed, put on a good little show, something on Netflix, a reality show, something super, super juicy. Get some Chick-fil-A. I'm craving like Chick-fil-A mac and cheese. All I had today was a cup of rice. And I, put, I busted these open. She won't mind. I'm sure she won't mind. Chick-fil-A mac and cheese, nuggets, spicy buffalo sauce. I have not studied at all and I haven't really done any of my homework. It's been like four weeks, about a month into mm -hmm. school. It's time to kick it into overdrive. Like it's actually time to start school. We've been on summer mode. <laughs> so Ted has these shots. Yes. Talking about the shots, Magic Mind. It has Magic Mind. It's like a calm mental performance shot. Um, sharper Mind, lower stress, calm energy. It just has like a lot of, you know, really good stuff. Oh, you can't even read that. It has like... Uh -huh. Turmeric, different vitamins, matcha, ashwagandha, lion's mane. You know, lots of good stuff. Lots of Shots good stuff. and going to the club. Yes. Cheers to focusing. That's the biggest thing. Cheers. <laughs> that was.
was so good. It's it doesn't even fresh. burn. That was, wait. I just burned. I feel Mental smart. Mental clarity instantly. Go buy this at your local store. Oh my gosh, I feel smart. Okay, we gotta go. <laughs> No.